Hey, welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and this video is about the first contest on this channel. And it's going to be a little bit different than probably what you've seen others do. Uh, so, here's what it's about, uh, the rules, and uh, what's going on. Uh, first thing first is you got to be subscribed to this channel already, obviously. If you're not subscribed, don't count the entry. Second, uh, this is for people 18 and over. Uh, third rule is a bit uh, different, and this rule is, is whoever wins the contests, and there'll be three winners, is that uh, they have to upload a video of what they won, their prize. Even if you don't want to be on the video, you got to show what you got, and that uh, I gave you on the video. And the reason for this is reputation, because when I hold future contests, I want people to know that, that I said uh, what the prizes would be, and that you actually got it, and it was delivered, and so that other people will know. So, sounds reasonable, right? Uh, subscribe to the channel, 18 and over. Uh, upload a video of your winning prize, if you win. Uh, here are the, the four toy lines you could choose. Uh, four of them, you could only pick one and run with it. First is Marvel Legends, and that's an umbrella term for the six inch scale figures of Marvel. Uh, Marvel Legends from Toy Biz and related lines such as Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, X-Men, Hulk, etc. You could put the Hasbro stuff in there, the two packs, if it's Marvel Legends, or those related lines, that's okay. Second is Marvel Universe. And Marvel Universe are the three and three quarter scale figures and related lines such as Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, uh, if it's related like that, those are good. The third line is DC Universe Classics. And that DC line is the DC Universe Classics, uh, the Green Lantern Classics, and even some of the Superman and Batman lines, which were like the six inch scale right before the DC Classics, because it was almost uh, the same thing and it just evolved a little bit. And the fourth line is G.I. Joe, uh, the three and three quarter scale figures, not the 12 inch ones, and you could use vintage, you could use 25th Anniversary, you could use Rise of Cobra, Pursuit of Cobra, any of those related lines. Whatever scale you pick, uh, you run with. Uh, there is no mixing and matching of scales. No Marvel Select and no DC Direct. Those lines uh, don't count. If you have a Marvel Select, a DC Direct, uh, don't count. It's just those four lines specified, the G.I. Joe, the Marvel Universe, the Marvel Legends, and the DC Classics, and those umbrella terms I said. One other thing about uh, your display, no customs. Uh, if you have custom characters, uh, you can't put it on this display. The reason why is I want an even playing field, and everyone has access to the same figures because they bought it in stores or online or wherever. If you have custom characters in your display and others could never have access to such characters, it's not really fair because those custom characters might make your display great and win. So if you have customs, no. Even playing field, uh, no custom characters allowed. So those are the four lines, but background material like trees, plants, uh, tires, garbage cans, etc. You could use background material from any toy line you want. Any toy line. If you have NECA, McFarlane, whatever. And by background material I mean objects, uh, things going on, props. That's what I mean. But not characters. For example, if you have a, a stone wall and a dragon that you bought from another toy line, you could use the stone wall, but you can't use the dragon. Uh, if you have a garbage can uh, that came with an action figure, 
You could use the garbage can, but you can't use the action figure it came with because it was from a different toy line. But you could use real world props, you could make up props, uh, whatever you want for the background. As long as it's not a creature, a character, or a person from an another toy line. Just the background material, that's okay. You could use that background material from any toy line. The video has to be uh, one video, you can only submit one video up to 15 minutes in length. 15 minutes is max. Uh, one video you get, uh, that's it. Here is the theme of your display. Uh, the theme is going to be you have heroes, you have villains, and think of it as ACBA in that they're fighting. There is a battle going on, and it's a big battle. Think of the last act of a movie where the forces of good, the forces of evil are coming at each other and fighting. It's the last act of the movie. The battle is happening. It's all out action. Think of that moment. Picture it. And that's your display. All the chaos, the carnage, uh, the fighting, all of that. That is what I want theme-wise of action, of battling, of fighting going on. Both sides are going at it. Non-stop, intense, and want to win and destroy each other. Are battling like it's the end of the world. And both sides, the good, the evil, are not holding back. Let the good guys be brutal if you want. Let the bad guys be even more brutal if you want. Uh, anything goes in that brutality. It's ACBA. It's a huge battle. And that's your video. Does that sound clear? Uh, hopefully it does. And so remember, that's one video. Here are the prizes. Uh, the prizes are going to be three, uh, free shipping, you don't pay a dime if you win, uh, you pay nothing. You don't pay for the prize, you don't pay for the shipping, nothing. And it's going to be worldwide shipping, uh, I'll ship it anywhere. Sound good? Okay. First is, uh, you get a t-shirt, uh, have not selected I've not selected the t-shirt yet, because whoever wins, I'll have to get the size and all. Uh, I got some good uh, stores for Marvel and for DC. Uh, whoever wins will either get a Marvel or a DC. Uh, Marvel's easier for me to buy, but I'll see if they got the DC stuff there. We'll see who wins. Uh, we'll work it out. So you get the t-shirt and a Marvel Essential volume or a DC Showcase volume. So you get two prizes, first prize. I just want to be clear on that. You get a t-shirt and either your choice of one Marvel Essential or one DC Showcase. As for what volume that is on what book, we'll work it out. Some back and forth, what, what you want, uh, what's available, what I can get. Uh, we'll figure it out. So it's two prizes for first place. Second place, uh, you just get a t-shirt. Uh, don't know exactly which shirt it will be, but it will be Marvel or DC and shirts sure yours. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, it'll be something cool. You don't gotta worry about that. I'll get something cool for you. And that's the second prize winner. And the third prize winner gets a Marvel Universe or related lines like Captain America or Thor action figure. Which action figure it is uh, will depend on what I can get, uh, what's available. We'll work it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. Uh, so that's third prize. So clarifying it, first prize, you get t-shirt and either a DC showcase or a Marvel Essential. Either one, uh, we'll work it out. Second, a t-shirt. And third, a Marvel Universe action figure. Sound good? Uh, contest, this contest costs you nothing to enter and you pay nothing, so Pretty cool. The deadline uh, for this contest will be October 8th. So 11.59 p.m. the end of October 8th, contest is done. Uh, but here is a very important rule that you must know. Uh, here's the important uh, thing 
on the video. When you enter your video description on the title, write something like Comic Toy Reviews Contest 1, the number 1, semicolon, whatever your display is. So does that sound good? And here's something that is equally important. When you have the video submitted, it's already uploaded and done. You must write me a personal message and attach on the drop down menu that video and send it to me on the Comic Toy Reviews channel. And the reason for this is because you might make the video, uh, you might upload it, and while I look online, I could miss it. You know, I might miss your video, and that would suck because you put all that time and work into it and I didn't even get to see it or I saw it after the contest was over and the results were done uh, so that's why you really gotta send me that personal message with the video you uploaded and send it to me so that way you will know that I got the video and that I saw it so is that, does that sound clear? Does that sound uh, reasonable? Of course if you just upload the video and you don't send me that personal message there's a chance I could miss the video and not even know it exists. Finally, uh, you might want to bookmark this video uh, for uh, and watch it again for the details or you could just more importantly uh, expand the description below this video. I will have all the details spelled out uh, in plain simple terms. You could copy it maybe put it on a word pad and print it out that way you will have all the details of everything I said in this video the rules, uh, the figures you could use etc. Remember this contest ends October 8 so get cracking, uh, get those videos uh, look forward to seeing your entries so that's it, thanks for watching that's the contest details and I'll talk to you later